Are you ready to take Logic Pro for iPad to the next level with new features like Session Players, Stem Splitter, and the new Chroma Glow plugin? Well, in this video, I'm gonna tell you everything that we know right now about the new Logic Pro for iPad 2. Let's go. Yes, in the recent Let Loose event, Apple not only unveiled brand new iPad Pros and iPad Airs, they unveiled this, that we're getting a brand new Logic Pro for iPad 2 and Logic Pro 11 for Mac. What's coming? What does it mean for you? Let's dive in. Let's start with this. Session Players, a personalized AI-driven backing band. Yes, it looks like Drummer is getting a big new update here in Logic Pro for iPad 2. We're also getting Bass Player. Yes, a bass playing session musician is here in Logic Pro for iPad 2. Anyone remember Music Memos? I loved the bass player in Music Memos. This looks like it's going to be cool. And we're getting a keyboard player as well. Look at that. That looks amazing, being able to adjust and control a keyboard player. So drummer, bass, and keys for someone like me and maybe like you who's a guitarist, a vocalist, a musician that wants to create songs, having these session musicians in the kit bag here in Logic Logic Pro for iPad 2. Yes, bring it on. Next up is Stem Splitter. Recover great recordings. Are you like me? Do you have old WAV files of mixes of songs where you're like, I wish I had the stems. I don't have the project files. I can't separate these out. Well, what Apple is saying here is, leave it to us. We can actually separate these out. Now, at this point, I'm going to pause because I've read the fine print. This is only available on your M series iPads. So M1, M2, and the new M4 iPad Pro will be able to do this. If you're on an earlier iPad, stem splitter is not going to work. And by the way, the session musicians say that they're recommended for M1 and above Looks like they may still work. We'll have to check that out. I've got my iPad Pro from 2020, so I'll be checking that out as soon as it's released to see how session players go with that one. But Stem Splitter looks super cool. It looks like we can split out our vocals, drums, bass, and other instruments. We'll have to find out how it works, but hey, it's a cool thing. I know there's other apps that do this, but I'm keen to see what Apple, the M1, M2, and M4, and the Apple Silicon do with splitting out our stems. This one I thought was interesting. Chroma Glow, dial in the perfect tone. So this is a plugin, but it's saying that it uses the power of the M series Apple Silicon to dial in like outboard gear. So this could be very interesting. You can shape and mold it to taste. So it's like a one dial plugin, which I'm a fan of. I love simplicity, but it looks like it's got a bunch of other options that we can dial in here as well. Anything that can make your mixer sound good at the press of a button, I'm all in on that. I, you know me, I don't love complexity, I love simplicity. And anything that makes mixing in Logic Pro for iPad simpler, I'm all in. And what if you're a Logic Pro for Mac user? Never fear, Logic Pro for Mac's getting a big upgrade too. We are finally moving from Logic Pro 10, or what many call X, to 11, or what I'd love to call XI. And it looks like you're going to get all of the same new features as well. So what's the catch here? Well, for our Logic Pro for Mac users, guess what? If you already own Logic Pro for Mac, you can upgrade for free. Yes, no additional fee for that. If you haven't already checked out Logic Pro, check it out. I've got a video about how you can do a free trial, 90 days free trial for Logic Pro for Mac. What about our iPad users? Well, if you're already a Logic Pro for iPad subscriber, you get the update for free. If not, you can do a 30-day free trial and you can subscribe for $4.99 per month or $49 per year. That's US dollars. It'll change based on where you are in the world. And more information's available there. I've dropped the link to this exact press release down in the description. Finally, the fine print. M-series Apple Silicon is recommended when using session players on iPad. So you will need at least an M1, M2, or M4 iPad Pro or iPad Air to use those session players 
on your iPad. M-series Apple Silicon is required when using Stem Splitter on iPad and Mac. So you will need an M1 or better Mac if you're running Logic Pro on Mac or an M1, M2 or M4 iPad Pro or iPad Air to use the Stem Splitter if you're using an iPad. And lastly, M-series Apple Silicon is recommended when using Chroma Glow on iPad and M-series Apple Silicon is required when using Chroma Glow on Mac. So that means that if you're using a Mac, you must have at least an M1 if you want to use that Chroma Glow plugin. But it looks like I was slightly wrong before. You can actually use it on your iPad. I'll be testing this out once we have this available and ready to go. But maybe if you're using like multiple versions and you've got it across a bunch of tracks, you probably want at least an M1 or better iPad to make sure it runs smoothly. And of course, I'll be covering all these new updates right here on Studio Live today. So make sure you're subscribed and let me know down in the comments what you think of these new updates updates. Don't forget also I've got a video playlist with more than 30 videos to help get you up and running with Logic Pro for iPad. That's right there right now and down in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.